Ben Laden. Uh oh, I told you so. I told you the story is very fishy. I told you something was wrong, and now it has come out that what I was telling you was correct. The first story that came out from the White House was a lie. Your what thoughts? Are you, what are you talking about, Mr. Conspiracy? The first story that came out of the White House from the president's own lips was that Osama bin Laden was in a firefight, he had a gun, he had a human shield. Were we forgetting this, or do you remember, or do you read the paper, or do you listen to the Stolen Digital Dave radio show when we went over this? Yes, we did one of that, and that's one of our most popular videos on YouTube. It's called the Stolen and Digital Dave, Osama Bin Laden Conspiracy. Well, I got one for you. It'll be coming out in a day or so with my famous cartoons, of course. And it's what's going on. Is there conspiracy? Let's face it. He didn't have a human shield. It wasn't his wife. He didn't have uh, a gun in his hand. The only thing he had to protect himself was phone numbers sewn in his burqa. Well, he doesn't wear a burqa, but you know what I mean. His right. shroud, whatever you call it. Right. But I thought we covered all this because once again, who knows when you entered that compound and you're on top of the third floor and he's Stop. in that room, who knows what Stop with the compound. Stop with it. The it. It's beyond that. It's beyond that the press secretary for the White House said he was unarmed. So it was he armed? Here's the, here's the key. Here's the key, and you're missing sight of this. Was he armed? Did he have a shield? Did he have a gun? Was he firing at the seals? And, and the answer is no, no, no. So no gun. No shield, standing at attention, and we shoot him in the back of the head. Not, I mean, in the side of the head. We don't, we don't. Sh oh, my, my. I should have listened to Oogie. I could have been working at 7 Eleven right now. Maybe if I duck, they'll miss me. I wonder if this number really works. Oh, well, I guess we'll never know. Standing at attention, and we shoot him in the back of the head. Not, I mean, in the side of the head. We don't, we don't shoot him in the face or in the chest. We shoot him in the side of the head, meaning he didn't even see it coming. Mr. Liberal Thinker, as I mentioned before, you're entering the dark, in the compound, on the third floor. Who knows what kind of gizmos or booby traps are in that room? You have to take advantage of take advantage of the opportunity the then and there. Why so, jeopardize so the the hold. So the unseen, unexploded, undetonated, no booby traps, you shot a guy in the head unarmed because you were afraid 